Hey guys, and welcome to video six of my I Tried It series, where I'm trying out side hustles on YouTube to see whether or not they actually work and whether you can make a little bit of extra money from them. Today, I'm trying out one from Alec. In this video, he is discussing how to make a substantial amount of money off of utilizing AI to create mugs and sell on marketplaces like Etsy. Now, Etsy is not something that I'm particularly new to, as I have had a print-on-demand store before. However, it's been over a year since I've actually tried print on demand and I am willing to see whether the AI mixed with just mugs on Etsy can sell and whether or not this model can actually work. According to Alec, this specific side hustle has extremely high potential for income eventually. It's over $21,000 per month selling mugs on Etsy and there's dozens of other shops just like it. And the way that this works is that this side hustle does not only take take one day, it can take up to months for it to actually start producing this type of income. So this is gonna be video one, and then I'm gonna give you guys updates. I did follow Alex's video step by step, and so without further ado, let's get into it. I first began by signing up with a new Gmail account, and this I used a name for my business, specifically a business account that I knew would be a good shop name. So I chose Magical Mugs, Eight. So when I signed up for the Gmail account, it does ask you a little bit about the business. You'll have to answer a few questions regarding your business, what type of business is, give your business name, that sort of thing. And next I thought I would update my Gmail profile photo, you guys, so that it kind of all coordinated and had a nice flow to it. So I did head over to Canva to make that profile photo more appealing for my email. And so I used Canva to do that. As I've mentioned before, I really enjoy Canva. It's something that I regularly use. I already have access to. So I did utilize that in Canva. As you guys can see here, I am utilizing it. And then after I decided on a profile picture, you guys, I went back over to my Gmail account here and I updated my my profile photo with that business profile photo. And now the next step that Alec mentions is signing up with Etsy. So I headed over to Etsy, you guys, Etsy's homepage, as you guys can see here. I scrolled down to the bottom, I clicked on that, and then I began opening up my shop. So I went ahead and used my new Gmail account that I had just signed up for. And of course, Etsy also asks you guys some basic questions about yourself and your new shop, asks you to name your shop. If the name you give it isn't available, they'll give you some options, which I chose Magical Mugs Art. And that was a recommendation from Etsy as Magical Mugs was already taken. And then once I got to this page where I need to upload a product, this is the point where I had to go sign up with my print on demand shop. So the first shop that I tried was Printify. I did that and then I kept getting this alert. And this was saying that I had multiple stores signed up under this Printify. This could have been from in the past you know, a year and a half, almost two years ago where I had a shop. I wasn't sure where this was connecting here with the Printify. I do enjoy Printify because Printify actually has a new feature where they have AI directly in their app. So you wouldn't even really need a third party AI creator. Printify already has it in their app. And so I really like Printify. They have a really nice variety of products on their website to choose from. I really wanted to utilize Printify and I tried, I spent about 30 minutes on trying to figure out what was going on with this. And as you guys can see, I kept getting this alert that I couldn't connect my shop. So I decided I'm not gonna waste any more time on that. I went ahead and headed over to Printful and that that's the one I decided on. Now, total time it took to sign up with new Gmail account, new Etsy account, and your Printful or Printify account, total time. And I was doing it rather quickly, guys, because I've done it before. So one hour. So at this point, I'm an hour in to the business. All right, so with Printful, the sign up was really simple. I just used my Gmail account like before, and it was quick and simple. And then in order to connect my Etsy shop, like I mentioned, in Printful, I just went over here to the left and selected stores. And because I signed up with the same email as my Etsy shop, it automatically connected the account, but 
if you guys needed to, you can scroll down here and you can see it says connect the store and then you can choose your um, store that you have. You can do it that way as well. And I did not have any problems with Printful. And in order to start adding products, you guys, I just selected the add product, went down to the left to houseware here on the left and selected mugs. And as you guys can see here, the printful selection is not as large, okay? You don't have as much variety, but it is what it is. And I said to myself, I'm gonna make it work. So at this point, you're gonna need to be signing up with some type of AI, unless you can get that Printify shop to work. But at this point, I had to sign up with some type of AI. Alec discusses utilizing Mid Journey in order to speed up the process and get multiple designs put them on your mugs and put them in your shop. I didn't want to go with that. I wanted to utilize Canva. Canva also has many AI. It is AI and it also has a lot of different features in Canva. I utilized Canva for me. Whenever I signed up, it took me five minutes to sign up. That's been over a year ago. So total time right now, I'm at one hour, five minutes for everything up to this point. $12.99 per month is the total cost at this point. Right, so in Canva, under create a new project, I did discover, and I will share with you guys a little extra tidbit if you decide to do this as well, I did discover that the size for placing a design on the mug is width 7,400 by height 2,800. That will come in handy, you guys, if you do decide to do this. So on Canva, if you're designing for your mugs, you wanna go over here to graphics on the left. That's what I did. Then I typed in what I wanted here. So here I was trying to create a Christmas mug. And so I typed in colorful Christmas. It brought it up many, 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 many designs here, okay? I chose the cute Christmas stocking and I just sized it to the banner. So I wanted it right in the center. That's exactly what I did. I just placed it in the center. And then I went up here and clicked the name of the project. And then I renamed it. So I'm just typing in that renamed project so that I could find it in just a minute. And then after that, I went back over to Printful, like Alec advised, and I selected the colors of the mugs that I wanted. And then I uploaded my file to the website and placed it on the mug. As you guys can see here, you do have a couple of options. You can see a 360 view here. And as you can see, it's just on the front of the mug for some reason, I don't really like it because whenever you're holding the mug, you know, it's in the front. And then if you do hang it up, like if you have a hanger, you know, it's just, I didn't like it. So you do also have the other option of placing two images on each side or surrounding the mug. So I went ahead and I placed it on both sides which I did end up liking a lot better as you guys can see here. So then I selected a mock-up, which is the next step. I went in, I updated my description for the mug and I did ensure Christmas mugs was in the description and then also I placed it in the tags because that's frequently typed in search. You know, if somebody's looking for a Christmas mug and then after that, I had to select the free shipping option, which I do. I like that because it looks nice for people. And then just, I made sure I'm getting like $5 profit. That's pretty average for people to get. That's about standard. And then I just uploaded it. Okay, and then after you upload it, you guys, you are going to go over to your Etsy manager app. So Etsy does have a manager shop app where you can go in and manage your shop. Well, the cool thing is that you can go right over to that app and then under the listings on the right here in the center where it says draft, it will load as you guys can see here, it is automatically there. And then once I clicked it, I made sure I liked it, you know, the way that it looked. And then I just selected publish. Okay, so it does cost 20 cents per listing guys. Here on Etsy under shop manager, the Etsy homepage under shop manager, you can see it's already popped up there once I published it. The last thing I have found that I like to do is put each listing in a category. I found that it makes it easier for the viewer on Etsy. It looks nice and organized and depending on what people are searching for, they can just click on it. So I have a total of 28 listings here, guys. So I've placed this listing in my category. I just opened this shop two days ago. So I've got 28 listings. 
things up there. I do really want to add much more. But let me go ahead and at this point, give you guys some overall statistics of the side hustle and what's going on with it. Total time it has taken me to set up shop from start to finish, much different than a year and a half ago when I tried this. Anyway, it did take me an after a full day, I would say a good 24 hours, I had the 27 items in my shop. So one full day, I had everything up and running, okay? And total cost at this point is $12.99 to $30 per month, depending on the AI you choose, okay? And then 20 cents per listing. The more listings, the better. Now, at the time of recording this video, I currently already have 77 views of my products and 14 visits to my shop, which was quite surprising for me. Obviously, I don't have any sales at this point. I'm still working on it maybe I will get some. Like I stated, Alec does state that it will take some time to get some sales. You know, we're going to see whether this works. The first time I tried print on demand, you guys, I had the shop up for near eight months and I did not get one sale from my print on demand. However, I am going to keep uploading. My goal is a hundred listings to my shop and the name of my shop is magical mugs art i'm gonna place a link for it down below even though i did hear if you place that in your youtube people are going to click on it to look not buy and it really kind of hurts the shop so however feel free to take a look at it see what i've done i don't mind you know, I've got nothing to lose here. I will continue to give you guys those update videos on this specific side hustle and keep track on whether or not I can actually bring in money or whether or not I actually end up losing money overall. Now take a look at my shop. Let me know what you guys think. Are my designs kind of bad? Are they ugly? What could I work on? What could I do better? Do you have any questions? Leave me a comment. And if you have any suggestions for side hustles you would like to see me try, please leave a comment down below. If you like this type of content to see whether or not side hustles actually work, hit the subscribe button down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.